Now, I can absolutely relate to how the first day of university feels. I was able to experience it not once, but twice. And you have this new room full of strangers in front of you, the big unknown campus, and all of a sudden, you hear that sound in your head. I'm gonna tell you how I survived the first day of university. I'm making this video for younger Max who graduated from high school and didn't know anything about university life. I could have done a lot of things better, and also I don't want you to make these mistakes. On my first day of university, I had the exact same thoughts as you. At my uni, they had an onboarding day, they made an entire event to host socializing activities and bring all the new students together. So early in the morning, I stepped into that big room full of strangers and at first I didn't know how to act, you know, who to talk to, what to talk about and so on. And for the first couple of minutes, I really had to quiet the annoying voice in my head, saying things like, Dude, going over to that group of people is cringe. Or you're gonna be alone, live alone, die alone. Everyone is making friends and you're just standing there. Everyone is staring at me. And you're standing there like... Eventually, your brain realizes that standing around all the time is not a solution. Your natural instinct kicks in and you maybe ask someone if you could sit next to them. Or if you seem like an approachable guy, someone is inevitably gonna start talking to you. Trust me, it's gonna happen. So I did the first one, I just casually looked for an empty seat next to someone who seemed nice and said, hey man, is this one empty? And yeah, simply asked the person why he chose this degree program. And skadoosh, I had a solid flowing conversation. It might seem easy from the outside, but let me tell you. For me, the first couple of minutes of an interaction with a stranger is always awkward. I believe it's the introvert in me, I'm someone who absolutely doesn't like small talk. I deeply, deeply dislike it and I try to avoid it whenever possible. I prefer deeper conversations that usually give me way more energy and also more meaning. But the thing is, to get to these deep talks, I first need to briefly do some small talk. It's absolutely inevitable. So at some point, I push through and suffer for a couple of minutes. But with every suffering comes a reward. And after talking to other people, I learned afterwards that most of the people felt the same as I did. So the first day, basically, everyone sits in the same boat. Everyone is there to make new friends. And I'm sure that the other person would love it if you came up and talked to him or her. Granted, you're not a complete weirdo, which I'm quite sure you aren't. Let me tell you, there's always this irrational fear that you're gonna find no friends, live lonely, die lonely, but you'll always find people. I think we can all agree about the fact that the people are the most important aspect of university, and they are the ones who make the entire experience so valuable. They're gonna remind you of deadlines, you suffer together and win together. It's not necessary to be friends with absolutely everybody because this also comes with its downsides, but having a couple of solid people around you is life-changing. The thing I noticed is, after one week or so, most of the groups have already formed and then it's really really tough to join one. So I want you to put all your energy into socializing on the first days, because this is literally where most of the friendships are made. And yes, also for introverts. I know it can sound scary and as an introvert myself, I had to put a huge amount of energy into that. At the end of each day, I was definitely exhausted as fuck. And it's actually a lot of socializing. In our case, it was from 9 in the morning until the evening, almost non-stop. But there is also a reward for this effort because getting to know nice people always feels great. It doesn't matter if you are an introvert or extrovert. So for me, the mindset played a huge role here as well. So I came from another country. I actually moved from Japan to Germany to go to university. And yes, I was already familiar with Germany because of my half Japanese, half German background. But regardless of that, I want to meet new people, especially people who were like-minded. I knew that at uni, I could find those people. And the great thing is that they all choose to be there and start the degree program because they're interested in the thing they are studying. And this is already a great foundation to connect. You can instantly be like this. And as a quick icebreaker, I love asking questions like, what made you pursue the degree program or something along these lines? And boom, you have a warm conversation going. If you find one person, the person that you're gonna spend your entire life your first day with and hopefully the rest of your university journey, this is already a huge win. In fact, I feel like this is one of the best achievements you can get in your entire university experience already on the first day. And when it comes to the next level of socializing and bonding, I can think of three things. Volunteering, joining a club inside or outside of uni, or inviting people to just join the activities you're already doing. So for example, I asked a couple of people if they want to go to the gym with me, and it worked out pretty well. I was able to get a couple of gym buddies. I'm still learning to fully implement them myself, but over the years I figured out some good tips, especially for quick bonding, that might help you out on the first day. So it's solid eye contact, you know, physical touch if it's appropriate, and a lot of deep questions, laughing together and being a extremely 
really good listener. You don't need to be a master of all of them. I found that just using two of them well is already enough when starting out. And another important thing is to stay approachable. You know, people can know this from your body language if you're an open individual or not. And I had to learn that over the years. And if you're not the best orator in history and your social skills are not a solid 10 out of 10, at least being approachable is extremely helpful because you know that one extrovert guy is going to find you and talk to you. So the goal for the first day, as simple as it sounds, I want you to implement this as an actionable step. Be socially aware and talk to people and talk even more with those ones you resonate the most with. You're instantly going to notice if you both are compatible or not. And most of the people won't even remember the conversation. Doesn't matter if it's a bit awkward, everybody is awkward on the first day, trust me. Except for this one extremely extroverted person who is going to talk to everyone in the room. Comment down below if you're the person and I'll pin your comment. On the first day, not only did I meet new people, but I got put into a completely new environment. And usually a university campus is huge as fuck. And I see it like a map in a video game. First, when you're the level 1 character, there are a lot of grey areas you need to explore and unlock over time. And I was fortunate that I got a tour of the campus from all the students and the faculty as part of the onboarding event. I mean, it's not that embarrassing if you sometimes have a hard time finding the right rooms and stuff. And I also had to ask plenty of times. The combination of these letters and numbers is confusing but i'm pretty sure that every uni has a campus map for download on your phone and this will literally be the trusty guide throughout the day i mean i cannot give you tips on how to do well in all the years of university because i'm still in my second year and i'm still learning a lot i'm documenting my journey on youtube so subscribe if that resonates with you i'm just a student like you who happens to do some youtube on the side however i have successfully experienced the start of university actually not once but twice. After graduation and moving from Japan to Germany, I started studying physics at Germany's most prestigious university. I dropped out after two months, took a gap year, and now I'm studying computer science and design. And this week was actually the start of university, but for me, it's my third semester now. So when it comes to the university campus, we have the goals to locate the most important places. The classrooms to prevent last minute panics, dining halls, supermarkets, the library so that you can pretend that you're studying, and most importantly, the toilets. Trust me, it's good to figure out how close the food is and where to go when your stomach is underperforming during the day. So far, two objectives are cleared. One, getting to know people, and two, being able to navigate the campus without mentally breaking down. Two big wins. The next thing I focused on was getting the right information from the right people. In short, introductory lectures. I know it's really tempting to skip them, but don't worry, you excessively get to skip lectures later in the semester. Strategically, of course. In my case, introductory lectures were extremely important. They included details like exam schedules, grading criteria, course requirements, objectives and activities and so on. A bunch of stuff. They basically provided us with a roadmap of what's expected during your time as a student. And they dropped some real gems in there. These little tips and tricks from the professors you only hear once in a semester. You don't want to be the person who three weeks later desperately asks around because you literally missed every possible opportunity at the start to get informed. Please don't be the person. Also, you don't have to talk to any of the professors and try to be homies with them on the first day. No, please don't be the weird person who just hangs around the professors all the time and asks annoying questions. If you're one of these guys, comment down below, but I won't pin your comment. So here we also have a simple goal in mind. Get all the important dates, requirements and information about the semester right away. When it came to things like making a study plan, academics or time management, I didn't focus on them at the start of university. All these things can come later when everything is more stable and you actually have the headspace for that. On the first day, my head was already overloaded with all the different names. I started to think about these things maybe in the second week when the most important things, friends, environment and information were already checked. So on the first day, you are either extremely nervous or extremely excited. But this is literally part of the university experience and I tried to be as active as possible during the time. After surviving the first day, you're gonna feel a sense of achievement. But surviving the rest of the first semester is a different demon to conquer and also a whole other story. I wish you the best for your start at the university, subscribe for more student content and stay focused.